I am not a black man. I am a black man written by a white man writing about a black man that a white man wrote about 400 years ago. 400 years ago, tribes of Africans sold other Africans to Europeans that came in ships. Capturing and enslaving your enemies was a long and rich tradition. A way, a way of, of exerting power over others, announcing your supremacy, denying their selfhood, erasing their identity. These were men of the same skin and hair. They sold each other to men of different skin and hair. And those men shipped them to the new world, where they sold them again to men of the same skin and hair and made the erasure complete. I am an endpoint, one endpoint, in this long and rich tradition, written in blood, a fabric woven in countless strands of countless lives and the deaths of countless souls. What I truly am is a mystery, because what I truly am is me, as unknowable to you as you are to me. What creates identity? Hair, skin, the body, facial, facial features, features, intelligence, personality, aptitude, the mind, feeling, fear, love, longing, the soul. We can look at each other, but what do we really see? We can listen to each other, but what do we really hear? All we have is the stories that we tell each other. What we seek are collaborators in our own narratives. Will you support me? Who am I? Who was I? You hear my words and assemble me in a certain way. Which me is the me that you see? I have lost the meaning of things. All I have left is a swarm of reasons that cluster around my head like angry wasps, deafening me. The struggle to know beauty, to put yourself in the exact position to experience it. My selfishness is hard to discard. I've grown into it like a creature into its shell, retreating into the back of my mind, yet still facing forward, looking out across a desert of emptiness, a space I can no longer fill. Othello is gone. What remains is this. <laughs>